Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, I am Naquan Jordan, the Air Protagonist, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Kyber's new Motion 3.0. So Kyber has updated to their video model, it has much better consistency and it creates more realistic looking videos. So I thought it would be a good idea for us to take a look at some of the 2.0 videos that I created and we create those using the 3.0 model. It's going to be the exact same prompt, same length, everything is going to be the same except it'll be 3.0 rather than 2.0 and we can see how the two of them compare. So in this first video, so this was a 2.0 video, you can see the prompt here is just an Asian woman in a style of illustration. And I just want to create like an anime style uh, line art type woman. And this is what it created. You can see that there is consistency with the face and the hair. The body and the clothing do change and there's kind of a morph effect whenever it does change. It is still a really good video. Uh, you can see it's 15 seconds long. Not a lot of tools out there will allow you to create a 15 second video, but it's still held together pretty well without going too crazy for that 15 seconds. However, you compare that to 3.0, as you can see the prompt is all the same and it looks so much better. Now at some point the hair does kind of go crazy, but everything else is really good, very consistent, the character stays the same throughout the entire 16 seconds of the video you can see that there's not much motion she does blink every now and then and the hair moves a little bit and it looks like she is turning but besides that everything else looks really good so with the new model the consistency is great the motion they don't move very much i didn't put much motion in either of the props but it still looks really good we take a look at the next video. This one was a really simple prompt. A woman with blue hair in the style of photorealistic. And unfortunately, this is not quite photorealistic. It does still look like an illustration, but it still looks good though. Once again, the face and the hair, the consistency stays the same. Although the body does kind of change and morph a little bit, but everything else looks good. It's very good for the 2.0 model. But when we change it to 3.0, you can see it's the exact same prompt, except now we do have an actual realistic looking woman, but she is of course not moving as much as the 2.0 version. She just kind of blankly stares at you, which is a little creepy, but it's still a very good looking model, very realistic looking model. And you can see the difference between the 2.0 and the 3.0. Very, very good looking video. And then if we take a look at the last one, so this one was a future cyber, uh, cyberpunk woman in the style of a photo taken on film, film grain vintage. So I put a lot of realistic stuff into the prop, but unfortunately the video did not come out realistic at all. It still looks like an illustration. 2.0 really did struggle with realism, but the face and the hair on the character did stay uh, consistent which was a strength of the 2.0 model. And unfortunately, the, um, the body was still morphing, still moving around, and the background, of course, morphed as well. That was just something 2.0 did. But the same prompt here in 3.0, and you can see it's a much, much realistic, much more realistic looking woman. She does kind of start at, I think it's like the 10 second mark. You can start to see like her glasses and her headpiece start to disappear, but the actual character still looks the same. She still looks good. She's just kind of blinking a little bit as she's looking at the camera. So there's not a lot of motion, but the video still looks really good. I mean, the fact that it stays together for as long as it does is a huge achievement for these AI video generators. Usually at around four or five seconds is when they start to morph and do all kinds of crazy stuff. But this one does hold on for a little bit longer than the others. So that was pretty much it. I just wanted to show off the difference between 2.0 and 3.0. This new model is amazing. The types of videos you can make with it, the characters and everything, it looks really good. 
I will be uploading some videos. I'll do like some shorts and maybe uh, maybe a couple one minute videos just to show you how good this new model is. If you have any questions or you need any prop ideas for any of my stuff, just go ahead. As always, just leave them in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Don't wanna overthink it, baby. It's just dream.